let's keep moving right along on to 1B. So now we're going to focus more on how to write these unit rates and uh, focus in on these fractions that could be involved. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So I want you to take a moment, pause your video, and you can either write it from here or if you want to turn to your last page or your packet, but go ahead and copy down the um, rates from the question in 1A that we just did. I know um, you just wrote them, but I want you to have them right here close to where we're going to do this um, next section. So go ahead and pause the video and write these down if needed. Okay. I hope you pause the video because I'm going to move on to the next part. So. Now we're going to talk about how to compute each rate into the unit rate. We talked about it just a little bit in 1A, but we're going to take it one step further. We want to talk about is there more than one way to do this? Uh, again, what if we think about this in terms of hours instead of minutes? So let's just talk about one at a time. So I'm going to focus on this first one, the 24 miles in 15 minutes. So I'm going to set that up right here. So go ahead and make sure your notes look just like mine. So again, when we're doing the unit rate, that second number is being scaled down to one. That's why it's so important how you write your rate because if you had the 24 on the bottom, for example, that means that you have the miles on the bottom and you're scaling down to one mile versus one minute. Extremely different. Okay, that was a big, big difference there. So when we're talking about 24 miles per 15 minutes, we're scaling down to a unit rate of one minute. We want to know miles per one minute. So that means we're going from 15 down to one, so we're dividing by 15, which means we're also dividing by 15 up here. This is why I want you to set up your proportion this way, so you can see more easily what you're dividing by. Now, I'm not going to go through every, um, I'm not going through all the divisions, so if you want to pause and try that at, for each problem on your own and then check with my answer, you're more than welcome to because I, knew, now I know you know how to divide all that. I want to make sure you know how to set it up and so that you know exactly what you're dividing by so that I should see this work then your division off to the side, not just straight to the division. So anywho, um, when we do 15 divided by 1, we're going to do 24 divided by 15 as well then. That's right, whatever you do at the bottom, got to do to the top. Again, if you want to pause and try it, go for it. Otherwise, our answer is 1.6 miles. So that's for one minute. So now, if I were to go on to the next two, either one of these really, um, because 0 0.25 and 1 fourth are the same thing, it's just showing a decimal versus a fraction. So if I do 24 miles, and I chose to do the fraction just because then I'm dealing with whole numbers. If you want to do the decimal, you're, that's fine, but you're going to be dividing by a decimal, so that's a little harder. You want, might want to divide by a fraction. Anywho, um, so this is going to be an entirely different answer. I'm not just going to have 1.6 because this was scaling down to one minute versus now we're going to one hour. So I have one fourth of an hour is what 15 minutes would be. I'm going up to one hour now. So instead of scaling down like this one, I'm actually going up because I only have part of an hour here. So you can think of this really as taking one fourth and if I did times four, that's what would get me up to one hour. Okay, or you can think of it as 60 minutes. How do I think of it? But we've got to think about unit rate and we're scaling to one. So if I'm doing times four here, I would have to do times four here, which ultimately ends up being 96 miles. So see how those became totally different answers? This unit rate is very different from this unit rate because it's one minute versus one hour. Very different. Okay. So what if we flip these around like we talked about before, right? We had these all as options too. All these rates work as well. They just mean different things, right? This one means miles per minute. This means miles per hour. This one, if I take the first one, 15 minutes and 24 miles, now I'm scaling down to one mile and I'm talking about, okay, how many minutes per mile? So now I'm doing 24 divided by 24 to get one. So I'm doing 15 divided by 24. Again, do the work off to the side if you want. Feel free to pause the video. But the answer we end up with is 0 0.625 minutes per one mile. So again, that is a very different unit rate than what we got up here because we're talking about different units. We're scaling down to something different. And scale, instead of scaling down to one minute, we scale down to one mile. So we can't just like flip it around and be like, oh, we'll just rewrite it. No, you're, you're scaling down to something different. So same thing for this next one. Instead of saying... Um, miles per hour, we would be saying hours per mile, and so we're scaling from 24 miles down to one mile, so we're dividing by 24 again. But then when you're doing the fraction or the decimal, whichever one you choose, um, 
you're doing one fourth divided by 24. So you're going to have to do keep change flip if you're doing the fraction. And so you end up with 196 minute. Now that looks a little similar here. It's flipped around. Um, but this again is doing minutes per mile versus miles per hour. Very, very different. Oh, I'm sorry. This should say hour. I'm sorry. I didn't, I forgot to change that. It should be 196 hour, um, per mile. Sorry about that, uh, mistake. Anywho, um, so the really important thing is to pay attention to what you're scaling to for your uh, one, whether it's up or down, um, and what it is labeled. That's why I say the proportion is super helpful. Now, what does all this mean, right? We found all of these, but really, which one is going to make the most sense for us to use, right? Which one's the most common? Would miles per minute, miles per hour, minute per mile, minute per mile, um, I'm sorry, hour per mile, um, which one of those makes most sense? Well, what you're going to come across most is the miles per hour. So when we label 96 miles per hour, that's going to be the most obvious. You can kind of tell that that was the easiest one out of all of them. So I know this was a little bit of a lengthy video, but it's really important for you to set up your proportion and make sure you understand what you are scaling to one with, okay? So really label those, those details. So you have... Um, Sorry, it's taking a moment. My computer's going slow. Um, the next thing has a couple of things. I want you to try it on your own and get a teacher's signature. So you're going to choose all the ones that apply, and then what you're going to do is just choose one. Okay, so whichever one makes most sense out of the ones you chose up here, you're going to choose one of those rates and compute the unit rate. You're going to find the unit rate and then get a teacher's signature. But make sure you don't accidentally do it for one that doesn't work. So pay attention to which ones would work for this scenario. Okay, good luck. You can do it.